behind the camera trying to get her attention because she doesn't want to sit down. I want to show you guys, yeah? I want to show you guys our top needs for teething. A what? Is it nap time? You want the penguin? Here, let me, let me see the penguin, Dad. So I guess the penguin's going to be afraid. Anyway, I want to show you guys our top um, favorites for teething. They include teething necklaces of both kinds and this little egg and just different stuff that worked for us because teething can be pretty hellacious, you guys. Let's be honest. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it can be um, it can be intense, especially at nighttime. I also want to say Advil. Thank you to Advil. Not sponsored. Wish it was. Um, on the nights that are really, really bad. But anyway, I want to show you guys our favorite things that worked for us. Um, it just kind of made life easier. You want it? Okay. All right. You guys know. All right. Here's the video. Alrighty, here is an overview of just most of the stuff I'm going to show you, um, and I have reviews for different things down below also. But anyway, I also want to mention Advil. Um, this is children's Advil. Of course, if you have an infant, you want to use infant's Advil. Um, but if you don't know or if you haven't read on the internet or your doctor hasn't told you or your dentist hasn't told you, you want to use Advil for teething and not Tylenol because Advil will help the swelling and it'll help them feel a lot better. And on the really, really bad days or nights, this has worked the best for us and we always get the dye-free um, Advil. Now this, I did a review on the teething necklaces like for the mom to wear. This is, everything's linked below. Um, but this hands down, I waited to get one of these and I wish I hadn't. This one's from Nubby. I love it. These ones actually match what I'm wearing. They're not like blue or pink like they were when they first came out. It's like nice. It fits my aesthetic. It matches my clothing. It has little rings on this one, which you can like fidget, you know. I'll have the link for this below and the link for the review. You, you, know, you guys know. But anyway, I super duper love this. My daughter chews on these and the little beads are easier for her to like fit in the back of her mouth now that she's um, growing those teeth. This is just an amber teething necklace. My daughter has had one of these since she was... Um, like six months old when she first started teething. My son didn't have one. They weren't like super popular whenever he was a baby. But for her, they were super popular. So we had to try one. I swear by these. I do not let her sleep in it, obviously. Some people let their um, kids sleep with it on their ankle. I don't let it in the, like, in, no, she doesn't sleep um, at all with this unless I'm watching her 100%. But I swear that these help um, my daughter. The teething egg. I love this one. Um, the whole point of this is because the egg is so big and it can't fit in their mouth. It'll like roll off their gums to kind of like, kind of like how rubbing their gums is supposed to help. And I do rub, um, their gums and I think that it does kind of help, but the teething egg I swear by, and my daughter loves, um, to just have it and like play with it whenever we're out and about anyways. Um, and then she'll just kind of like rub it across her own gums or like try to chew on it. And it also kind of rattles and makes like a little noise. But anyway, I totally recommend that. Now Binkies, I'm kind of hit or miss on how I feel about this because my daughter, um, she stopped taking a Binky, I want to say around 10 months old on her own. But then whenever she started teething the back teeth, I had a hard time finding something that she could chew on to like reach back there because I obviously am not going to give her... Um, a teething necklace unless I'm right there with her. So sometimes she'll chew on this. Thank God she doesn't suck on it. But if you had a hard time weaning, I wouldn't, you know, go there. These, I also want to say, whenever my daughter first started, well, both kids, whenever they first started transitioning to sippy cups, I used a soft top sippy cup. And both of them, once they started getting teeth in really well, they started chewing the crap out of these cups. And I just, I had to give up on the soft tops because um, they'll chew them off. So definitely get a nice hard cup, um, hard top sippy cup. And I recommend these ones. I'll link them below. Not sponsored at all, but they don't have an insert. It's just all one piece, really easy to toss in the dishwasher. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan. We actually got one on vacation because we um, couldn't, like we lost our sippy cup on vacation. We had to get one from Walgreens and we ended up with these and then I ended up like buying more. Totally recommend them. So that is it. Um, if you notice, we do not um, use teething tablets. Um, there's an older video of my son whenever he was a baby and we tried teething tablets because they were like the thing to try and they actually got recalled. So that's scary. And we obviously don't use them now for my daughter because um, they got recalled and we do not use Orgel because the doctor and the dentist both say not to use Orgel. So um, between um, having something good for her to chew on and the teething necklace and using Advil on really, really bad days or nights, um, it's worked perfectly for us. We have had a couple sleepless nights, but other than that, she's done really, really well. I swear by the teething necklace. Just don't let your kid, you know, go to sleep with them. But yeah, that's what we used. Bye, guys. That's the video. Those are our favorites. Say bye-bye. Bye, Daddy. Daddy.